Health Minister Viswajit Rane has virtually ruled out any lockdown and said increasing testing, bed capacity and infrastructure are the only ways to fight COVID, even as active cases touch 2057 in Goa. Three more COVID testing machines are procured for Azilo, Hospicio and GMC to increasing the testing capacity to 1500 to 2000 per day. The Health Department will increase the bed capacity at South Goa District Hospital by another 300 plus ICU facility and also increase the number of medical officers from DHS to start ITU facilities. ESI Hospital will also continue to treat COVID patients, he said. There are hardly 15 to 20 beds vacant in South Goa District Hospital and at GMC, Viswajit declared. He also said he is aware that 10 to 12 patients were sleeping on stretchers at GMC due to bed shortage. Today, as far as Goa is concerned, as we speak, we have got more than 2,057 active cases in the state of Goa. Dr. Utkarshin, correct me if some figures go wrong in the middle. And what we have stressed is that we need to increase the testing facility in the state of uh, Goa. Further increase this testing. Secretary Health Sri Ravi Dhawan is also working on various modalities and other ways in which we can further increase the testing than what we have planned now. We have now placing an order for three machines uh, which will be installed at Azilo Hospital in addition to what we have Azilo Hospicio and Goa Medical College. So it will increase by another 1500 to 2000 tests per day. So we are thinking of targeting because there is a variation, we are thinking of targeting anything between 2,500 to 3,000 tests per day so that we are able to keep a control and understand the spread of COVID-19 in the state of Goa. The media's role is very important. We need to take precautions. We need to see that certain restrictions are put in place, but that will be decided by the Disaster Management Committee on what needs to be done. As far as from the health sector, what we need to do, what we need to, in terms of enhancing our facilities that we have got. At the moment, we have got close to about 200 bed capacity in the South Goa District Hospital. And we are planning to, we have given, discussed in the morning also, along with Secretary, myself, Dean and others, we are increasing the bed capacity in the South Goa District Hospital by another 300. In addition, there is an ICU facility already there. We are increasing the number of medical officers from DHS to be posted at the South Goa District Hospital so that we are able to start ITU facilities also in the South Goa District Hospital. Same time, ESIC Hospital has been declared as a COVID care centre, but I think we need to use it as a proper hospital. COVID care centre concept, rather than calling it a separate COVID care centre, this is my personal feeling, is what we used to run it earlier. Same way we can run it with the same patient handling staff and other things what they require so that we are able to take care of the patients who are admitted in the ES ESI hospital. Now, as we speak, we are reaching full capacity, bed capacity in South Goa District Hospital as well in Goa Medical College. We have got hardly 10-15 beds remaining in Goa Medical College. We have got hardly some 15-20 beds remaining in South Goa District Hospital. So this is the situation as we speak. Every day we are getting admissions to about anywhere ranging between 30 and 40 admissions per day. And this is increasing and we, as we discussed in the expert committee meeting, is that we feel that we may, this, this will go higher, projected as per what Dr. Utkarsh has suggested to us in, during our discussion, that we need to see that all types of precautions are taken. For Prime Video Journalist Rahul Paste Panjim.